Hello friends, this is Dorothy. Welcome to my channel All in One. Today I will tell you our all time favorite fairy tale. Do you know what is the name? Yes, you all know that is Cinderella, our all time favorite story. Yes, okay, let's start. Yes. Once in a far off land, there lived a beautiful and kind young girl named Cinderella. She lived with her stepmother and two safe sisters. She was named Cinderella because she always sat among the cinders and ashes by the fire. The stepmother and her daughters were bad tempered and selfish. They don't like Cinderella at all. They were very jealous of Cinderella's beauty. The two stepsisters made her do all the household work. One day, an invitation came from the royal palace. Every young girl in the kingdom was invited to a grand ball. The prince was to choose his wife from among those who would attend that grand ball. The stepsisters <laughs> were very excited about the ball. When the great day arrived, the stepsisters took hours getting ready for it. Cinderella had to help them with their dresses. At last, the sisters were ready to leave and Cinderella wished that she could go to the ball too, but as usual, her stepmother insisted that she would stay at home to do the washing and cleaning and do all the household work because there is no one to do all those things because they, as they don't like Cinderella, so she has to do all the household work. Cinderella was very sad and unhappy. Suddenly, a beautiful lady appeared before her. She said, I am your fairy godmother. We all have with us our fairy godmother. Do you know who is that person? Yes, you all know that is our mother who can do everything, who can do all the magic for us. Right? Yes. Okay. So, you shall go to the ball. If you do as I say, bring me a yellow pumpkin, the largest you can find, and four white mice. Cinderella did as she was told. The fairy godmother waved her wand. Like magic, the pumpkin was changed into a golden coach, and the white mice became horses and footmen for the coach. But still, Cinderella cannot go to the ball. Do you know why? She don't have a beautiful dress, right? So now, fairy godmother said that we will need a gown to wear to the ball. Once again, she waved her wand and Cinderella was dressed in the loveliest gown she had ever seen. On her feet were beautiful glass slippers. Cinderella looked like a princess. The fairy godmother told her to have a wonderful time at the ball. She also wanted to remember to be back before the stroke of midnight or else the magic would end. When Cinderella arrived at the ball, she was the most beautiful of all the ladies present there. Her stepmother and stepsisters could not recognize her. The prince rushed to meet her. They danced together all the evening. And the prince fell in love with her. Cinderella kept her eyes on the clock. As it was nearing twelve, she took leave of the prince and went back home. After some time, the stepsisters also returned. 
they excitedly told her all that happened at the ball cinderella just smiled to herself <laughs> next day the step sisters went off to the ball again the fairy godmother appeared again and turned cinderella into a princess and again it was the only cinderella with whom the prince danced the ta- this time cinderella forgot to see the clock suddenly it began to strike 12 cinderella rushed out of the ballroom and down the palace stairs as she ran she lost one of her glass slippers the prince hurried after cinderella but all that he could find was her glass slippers the prince wanted to marry cinderella but he could not find cinderella so he sent his most trusted messenger to look for her the prince's messenger went from house to house with the glass slipper to see whose foot it would fit every girl in the kingdom tried it on even cinderella's step sisters also it fitted none but cinderella wanted to try it on too her step mother laughed at her <laughs> but cinderella's foot slid smoothly into the glass slipper her step sisters could not believe it the search was over the messenger left for the palace immediately the princess was now very happy indeed soon cinderella and the prince were married and it was the most beautiful couple that had ever lived in that kingdom so what we have learned from this story that we always kind towards others for giving others for doing wrong and never letting bad things ruin our hearts right yes <laughs>